As a U.S. ally, South Korea regularly attends NATO summits and supplies weapons to several of its countries. Analysts believe that its South Korean weapons will be compatible with those already used by Ukrainian troops. This is reported by the Financial Times. South Korean support for Ukraine could turn the tide of the entire conflict, said Henry Haggard, a senior advisor at West Exec Advisors. He served as political counselor-envoy at the U.S. Embassy in Seoul from 2021 to 2023. Not only do Korean firms produce world-class weapons specifically designed to help Ukraine, they also have the manufacturing capacity to deliver the necessary weapons at a pace that could be decisive. He added, South Korea provides indirect support to Ukraine, replenishing stocks of American 155mm artillery shells. Ramon Pacheco Pardo, a career expert at King's College London, said European countries are aware that South Korea has supplied Ukraine with more artillery shells than all European countries combined, albeit through third countries. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky said that he was sending a representative to Seoul to make detailed requests for artillery and air defense systems amid the deployment of North Korean troops in Russia. However, Seoul has so far refused to directly supply lethal aid to Kiev, citing the country's foreign trade law, which restricts arms exports except for peaceful purposes. Pacheco Pardo said Seoul and Moscow have reached an understanding that South Korea will not provide direct lethal aid to Ukraine if Russia limits its support for North Korea. Russia's involvement of North Korean troops in the war against Ukraine could result in a high level of casualties among the North Korean military. As a result, the Asian allies are unlikely to fully compensate for the personnel losses suffered by Russian forces, reports the Institute for the Study of War. The report notes that a meeting took place in Moscow between Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov and North Korean Foreign Minister Cho Sun-hui. The ISW report also noted that Cho's visit to Moscow comes amid reports of the deployment of 8,000 North Korean troops in the Kursk region who are expected to soon engage in combat alongside Russian forces against the Ukrainian armed forces. At the same time, ISW analysts believe that despite Pyongyang's commitment to support Russia, North Korean forces are unlikely to provide a long-term solution to Russia's manpower issues. According to Austin, Russian forces are suffering over 1,200 casualties per day, approximately 36,000 casualties per month. Recent U.S. estimates indicate that Russia is drafting between 25,000 and 30,000 new soldiers each month, meaning it cannot replace current frontline losses at a one-to-one -one ratio. Thus, the 8,000 North Korean soldiers represent roughly a week's worth of losses across the entire front. North Korea has committed an estimated total of 12,000 troops to Russia. It remains unclear exactly how Russia intends to leverage North Korean manpower but the commitment of North Korean troops into the type of highly attritional offensive operations that Russia has been pursuing is very likely to lead to high North Korean casualty rates, the report states. Recording artist Cardi B spoke at a rally for U.S. Vice President Kamala Harris in the Milwaukee suburb of West Allis on Friday. Just like Kamala Harris, I, too, have been the underdog, the award-winning recording artist told the crowd. I've been underestimated. My success belittled and discredited. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you all something. Women have to work 10 times harder, perform 10 times better and still people question how we got to the top," she added. Harris and former U.S. President Donald Trump hosted rallies within seven miles of each other Friday night in the Milwaukee area as part of a fevered final push for votes in Swing State Wisconsin's largest county. Milwaukee is home to the most Democratic votes in Wisconsin, but its conservative suburbs are where most Republicans live and are a critical area for Trump as he tries to reclaim the state he narrowly won in 2016 and lost in 2020. One reason for his defeat was a drop in support in those Milwaukee suburbs and an increase in Democratic votes in the city.
hold on, hold on, hold on. How you guys doing tonight? How you guys doing tonight? Are we ready to make history? Are we ready to make history? Are we ready to change these four years? No. Are we ready to change the next eight years? Because we're going to make sure we have Kamala Harris in office for eight years. Thank you. All right. Vice President Kamala Harris, thank you for having me. I do not take lightly the call to show up, the call to speak up, the call to deliver a message that's been on my heart for a hot minute now. Now, I took my time writing this speech, so I'm going to make sure I deliver it right. Because I got something I've been wanting to say for a long time. I've been saying it on Twitter, on my Instagram, and I'm ready to tell it to you now. Y'all ready to listen? All right, now. All right. Just like Kamala Harris, I too have been the underdog. I've been underestimated. My success belittled and discredited. Let me tell you something. Let me tell y'all something. Women have to work 10 times harder perform 10 times better, and still people question us how we got to the top. Actress and singer Jennifer Lopez introduced Democratic presidential candidate Kamala Harris at a Las Vegas rally early Friday that also included a performance by the pop band Mana. Lopez in emotional remarks talked about her background as a Puerto Rican and emphasized the importance of women for the Democratic nominee. Lopez also pushed back at comedian Tony Hinchcliffe, who at Trump's Madison Square Garden rally called Puerto Rico a floating island of garbage. You can't even spell American without Rican, she said. This is our country too. Harris, who arrived in Las Vegas after a separate rally in Reno, said she was confident she would win the election. When you know what you stand for, you know what you fight for, she said. She has only ever had one client, you, the people. And in each of those roles, I am an actor and an entertainer, and I like Hollywood endings. I like when the good guy, or in this case, the good girl wins. We should be upset. We should be scared and outraged. We should. You can't even spell American without Rican. <laughs> this is our country, too. And we, we must exercise our right to vote on November 5th. 